face in the ACC. Florida State went 10 and 4 in Jimbo Fisher's first season as the head coach. Rod, let's look at the seminal schedule here. How close do you think Florida State is to returning to a BCS bowl game? Well, I, I like what Jimbo Fisher has done. 10 wins in his first season, brought in a lot of good talent. But everything will ride on what happens in September. Oklahoma, that's a big game. They got blown out last year. If they handle Oklahoma and then handle the road game at Clemson, they're going to be in pretty good shape. We'll be talking about a team that will be ranked in the top four, top five, if they win those two ball games, And they're talented enough to do that. The question is, can they handle a road game after that big, big Oklahoma game? Uh, just sitting here in July, though, looking at that schedule, do you, you believe Florida State is the class of this conference? I, th I think so. I think they've made some real changes. The talent's always been there. But one of the really big things that happened was the mental approach to this team, making them mentally tougher. And Jimbo Fisher's gone all out with that. He has been dealing with psychologists. They have the mental approach in their drills and the like. Talent hasn't been an issue. It's been really how tough they've been and making mistakes, and now they're much better with that. But we asked the question, question number five, how would Virginia Tech move on without Tyrod Taylor, who did a little bit of everything for that team? Christian Ponder, not to the same extent at yeah. Florida State, but hey, the guy was drafted in the first round of the NFL draft. E.J. Manuel, we've heard a lot about him. Do you think he's ready to take the helm and lead this team to the next level? No, no drop-off at all. We've seen E.J. Manuel play. He's done a great job when Ponder was out with injuries. Uh, E.J. Manuel stepped in. He's played in big games. He's a big, tall, mobile quarterback who's happy to stay in the pocket and beat you from the pocket. He can throw it as far as you want. He throws with touch. He can use his feet to get to the edge and make plays. So I don't see any drop-off with E.J. Manuel. And because he tends to be, I think, a little healthier than Christian Ponder, you may have more consistent play out of that quarterback spot. And, of course, when we mention Florida State, we always think of the great athletes they have on defense. Do you see more of the same this upcoming season? To me, that's one of the real big areas with Florida State now. Mark Stoops, with that defense, he's taken them, changed their front. They play some 3-4. They play some 4-3. They've got bigger, faster, great athletes up front. They're getting back to the way Florida State used to be. They pressure the quarterback, and they don't have to blitz you all day long to get there and do that like they used to be able to do. They, now they can line up and play zone coverage and they can send four guys after you. I see a real interesting conference this year in the ACC. I think Virginia Tech is going to be right now kind of under that radar. I think sure. they could be really, really good. And as you said, Florida State should be there as well. You have a veteran quarterback, though. You leap over the other guys. Absolutely. It's all about that position, right? A lot more stuff to come on college.